Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe on the Gaming for Insight channel. And in front of me, I have the game Ad Infinitum up and running on my Steam Deck. This is a game that has recently released as of making this video. It is a psychological thriller and has elements of horror as well within it that surrounds the setting of World War I and a soldier that experiences PTSD. And in this video, I'm going to be focusing on settings that you can tune to extend battery life on the Steam Deck while playing this game. So first I would like to go to the overlay here by hitting the ellipsis button. And we're going to look at two areas. We're going to look at the performance area, which you see on my screen. And we are going to look at the power tools plugin settings that are a part of the Decky plugin suite. So let's start with the performance area. And I'm going to go down to my frame rate. Now, this is usual for me and what I like to do. I really enjoy the 40 frame rate limit. I like to target an area between 30 and 40 frames. That is a good spot, at least based on my preference. So here I'm going to cap the frame rate at 40 and I'm going to set my refresh rate at 40 as well. I'm going to enable half rate shading. I am not seeing blurred text as I'm playing this game, which this setting when enabled can do. And it is a measure of extending battery life, but this may be a preference for you. Our thermal power limit, our TDP limit, I have this set at nine. And I did try eight and eight, I just saw too many performance drops with that TDP limit. And nine is a good spot. I will say with this game, there are two distinct areas where there are different performance demands. The in-house area, which you actually see on my screen, this is less of a performance demand, whereas out in the trenches, which you will see during levels when playing this, that has more of a performance demand. So in the house, walking around at eight is very achievable to do. However, outside I did sense that eight is not enough and nine is a good limit here and we have fsr disabled on this because i have fsr enabled in game and i will show you that as well let me start with smt simultaneous multi-threading now this setting enables instructions to be drawn from multiple threads at the same time and you may have seen across my videos that i like to try and disable this setting to extend battery life. In this game, I found the interesting circumstance where if I disable this setting, if I drop the wattage below 13 watts, I experience significant performance drops with the frame rates going into the lower 20s. And I also saw bottlenecking with the GPU, and I also saw close to bottlenecking, we're talking about in the 90% load, with the CPU component of the APU, which is to be, which, which is not a surprise really, because we're working with four threads instead of eight. So those load times are going to be higher. And we've seen that across my other videos. You may have seen that across my other videos. However, in this case, I reason that it's more advantageous for extending battery life to drop that wattage than to keep a higher wattage and disable SMT. But again, this is completely preferential for you, but I thought I would at least give you that note. So again, we're working with eight threads with the SMT enabled. Our governor setting is going to be power save, and that is going to be changed from this one, schedule till. Let me next talk about clock speeds, both on the CPU component of the APU and the GPU component of the APU. I will begin with the CPU component. I would see my clock speeds vary when playing this game. We would start with 1.6 gigahertz and then go all the way up to 3.3 gigahertz. So that turbo clock speed that is available for this APU that was utilized almost all the way. And our base clock speed is going to be 2.4 gigahertz. And then the turbo speed is going to go up to 3.5 gigahertz. So because I would see this variation happening with the clock speeds, that is why I did not want to limit them as far as a certain range. Let me next transition to the GPU component. I did see that our clock speeds, even in the high demanding areas with the nine watt would like to stay below 
1.0 gigahertz and did not reach above that clock speed. So with that, I put here a minimum and maximum. The minimum megahertz is 400. I left that alone. That is default. But the maximum I did feel that, or rather I did reason that we can limit that to 1000. Our downclock memory, enabling that would completely decrease and degrade the performance of the game. I do not recommend enabling that. And that is going to be it for the Power Tools settings within the Power Tools plugin of the Deki plugin suite. So with that, let me now transition to the in-game settings. And I did adjust those. Okay, let's look at the in-game settings. And I did adjust my overlay so to provide visibility for these. I'm going to use the right bumper to navigate to the video settings. And let's start with the resolution. I did change the resolution to 720p. I am working with the full screen window mode. I do have V-Sync enabled since we're targeting that 30 to 40 frame rate range. And we do have a frame rate limit at 40. And I have the max FPS at 60 instead of 30. This could be set at off, but I just have this at 60 right now since our Steam OS settings are going to override for this, which it is set at 40 as a limit. Let me talk next about the resolution scale. This is going to be preferential. I have this set at 100, indicating 100%. The settings for view distance, anti-aliasing, post-processing, I have these all set to low, and this is done in an effort to maintain as close to possible that 40 frame rate and that range of 30 to 40 frames. And those are going to be our in-game settings. All right, and that is going to be our video on Ad Infinitum on the Steam Deck. In the gameplay, you got to see the two different areas with different performance demands. That's the in-house area and then the warfare or trench area that I like to call it. Let me know in the comments, did you pick up this game? Are you playing it? Are you enjoying the game? What settings are you using on your Steam Deck to play it? I look forward to reading all of this in the comments. So with that, let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.